Hey y'all, this is the Great coming to you on this snowy, snowy Friday. Hopefully y'all prepare for this snowstorm that's supposed to be hitting the East Coast. Cleveland is getting some snow. We're supposed to get four to six inches, but we'll make it. All right, y'all. I would have done a video about Justin Smiley getting them 150 days, but I see no point in doing that because everybody else is doing it. And y'all got the gist of it. He lied. We know he lied. You know, take your time. It was dramatic about him talking about, I'm not suicidal. It's a smart thing to say, though, because anything do happen to him, he didn't kill himself. You know, all that crap. All right. Graphic details. Former basketball wild star Royce Reese arrested for child neglect after her son missed to molest another child because he was angry. All right. Neighbors, the details surrounding the arrest of former basketball wild star Roy Reese's arrest are a bit shocking. Royce was arrested for child neglect and appears it because her son sexually molested her boyfriend's child. Lord. According to a police report, the incident occurred at Braylon's, Roy's son, home. It is, it's unknown if Braylon, who is around 13 years old, and the other child resided in the same home at the time of the incident. Braylon has, has a history of sexual behaviors. Oh, wow. He is currently in treatment at True Core Behavior Solution. He has been in treatment for eight months. Officer, Officer Chamberlain responded to Braylon's resident when he met with Braylon's mother, Royce Reed. She explained Braylon recently revealed new information about a sexual incident between the two boys that occurred approximately one year ago. Royce notified her son's sexual treatment counselor who in turn contact, contacted CF. During the investigation, Braylon admitted he had sexually molested the child saying it happened at least two times. He said that he, he made the child masturbate me because I was angry. Braylon stated he believes anger triggered him into acting out sexually. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. All right, let me go up. All right. Now, she put up a post on her stories. I shouldn't even have to address uh, to deal with... Uh, excuse me. I'm sorry, y'all. I shouldn't even have to deal with or address this. I did not get arrested. I turned myself in because I had to. Two, talk to my attorney. As for the picture, I was scared of shit and was crying like a baby the whole time. I'm not about that life, but I did, but I did it, and we're going to get through this. All right, as you can see. I'm, I'm blowing it up because um, I'm not about to read all this. I'll go down. On February 24, 2022, WGPD received a DCL fax for the case number 2022 168453, which stated Braylon Howard had such touch his penis in a sexual way. The incident occurred about a year ago in Orange County. Blank is the mother's paramour's son. The incident occurred at Braylon's home. It's unknown if Braylon and the minor resided in the same home at the time of the incident. Um, Braylon has a history of sexual behaviors. Okay. We well, all read that already. Okay. He met, um, the officer met with Braylon's mother, Royce Reed. Royce stated, blank, blank is the son of her boyfriend and they both reside in Summer Park. She explained Braylon recently revealed new information about the sexual incident. All right, the third part, I messaged CPI Adler and told her she did not have the authorization to interview Braylon due to his being an open and ongoing criminal investigation. However, she had already spoken with Braylon who admitted he had sexually molested blank, stating it happened at least two times. He said he made him masturbate him because he was angry. All right, let go to the other slide. Lord, how much this is a lie. I'm going to try to hurry this up because how long I've been talking? Only been four minutes. All right, y'all. All right. P.I. Allen, O.C.O. Deputy E. Lopez responded to the blank resident when they met with blank, his ex-wife, Cristal, 10-year-old blank, and 6-year-old blank. During the interview, blank denied being sexually molested or inappropriate behaviors. Of course, cause what, even as a child, who about to sit up there and admit that? Blank was qualified for interview and was able to identify his private part where he should not be touched. He then disclosed he had touched Braylon's penis at his request. Blank stated Braylon gets angry and tells Blank to touch touch him. He could not retalk, recall how many times this occurred, but stated it happened at Braylon's house. Nothing further was discussed with Blank. P.I. Allen contacted me with the outcome of this interview and a CPT was requested. All right, I'm going to blow it up so y'all can pause and look at And excuse the noise outside. People just riding around. All right, I'm going to read this part. On March 2nd, 2022, at approximately 11.30 hours, C.C. Ogletree 
and I met with Cristal, Blank and Blank for the CPT interview. We first met with Blank where CC Ogletree obtained information from him. Blank told us he and Royce had been dating for over a year when Braylon was removed from school, stating he was not welcome in the school any longer due to a case he was involved in and the diversion program he was a part of. He continued to say Braylon was in a diversion program and his mother had started getting letters and documents together to, to try to get Braylon back in the school system, but she kept getting denied. Because of this, Blank said some red flags started to get raised and prompted him to ask his children about it. When he asked Blank if anyone had touched him, specifically Braylon, he said yes. Blank went on to say he had never been touched by Braylon, but Braylon made him touch his penis and made him do this as he made a jerking motion with his hand. When Blank asked him why, Blank said he did not know, but Braylon told him he would have to do it whenever he got mad at him. When asked how long ago it occurred, Blank said a couple of months ago, and then it happened a couple of times. Blank then stopped questioning Blank and assured him he was not in trouble. Ooh, Lord have mercy. After Blank made the disclosure, Blank said he slept on it and Royce called it and, Ro and called Royce the next day to tell her what Blank had told him. Royce in turn called Braylon's counselor or therapist who notified DCL. Blank then texted Crystal saying they needed to talk and she needed to come to the house to talk to him and DCL. Blank said he had not spoken spoken with Blank about it since the initial disclosure and DCF investigation. He had been staying with Crystal since. When asked how often Blank and Braylon was together would be together, Blank said they were together often, specifically over the summer and Christmas break with some sleepovers occurring. When asked if the children would ever be left unsupervised, Blank said there were always an adult in the home, but there was not consent con constant supervision with them as it was a big house and the kids would play together. Ooh. All right, plan, plan, plans for regarding the relationship and his children. Blank said, oh, it's over. The kids will never be around each other again. As far as he and Royce go, he does not have a desire to continue that because her kid is there and I don't want to see him ever again. That's true. He will ask if if he believed Blank to which he said he did, stating Blank is not the type of kid to lie. To be deceptive to try to keep himself out of trouble and is a very very forthcoming child. My goodness, I, let me blow this up so y'all can um, pause it and read it for yourself. Cause it's a lot, it's a lot, ooh, it's a lot. Ooh, let me read down here. Okay, after uh, obtaining basic demographic home environment at both his mom and dad house, school situation and what he does for fun, CC Ogletree asked Blank if the police had ever been to his mom or dad house. Blank said the sheriff had been to his dad house to ask some questions. When C.C. Ogletree asked what Blank talked to the deputy about, he he said it was about someone touching him back here and down here while pointing to his buttocks and gentle area. Blank said, yes, yeah, someone made me do that. She asked Blank to tell her all about what happened. Blank said someone named Braylon made me touch him down, made me touch down here while pointing to his gentle area and made me do this over and over again while motioning his closed hand going back and forth. And he put my mouth on it and suck it. Oh, Lord. Blank said this happened more than one time. Disclosed two specific situations he remembered. He said the first time it happened, they were at Braylon's house upstairs in his bathroom by the toilet. Blank said he was, was confused about what happened, but Braylon told him he would have to do it and tell him what to do. Blank said the second incident was a few days later in a room that connects the upstairs beach room and believed to be called Paris room. Blanket then saying Braylon made him do the thing, further saying he made me do this while motioning his clothes fits up and down, then put my mouth on it. CC Ogletree asked him what what that was and Blank said and Blank said Braylon made him pull his penis up and down, then do the same thing with his mouth on Braylon's penis. Lord have mercy. When Blank was asked how Braylon's penis felt, he responded, It felt disgusting, I didn't even like it. When asked what made Braylon stop, Blank said he did not know, but eventually he stopped and forgot about it. Blank stated he did not hear anything, see anything, taste or smell anything when Braylon stopped making him touch or suck his blank. All right, y'all, I'm just going to big this up some more. I'm not going to read the rest of this, but y'all, y'all pause and read it. Pause and read it. It's on the neighborhood talk. My God, it's a lot. Lord, have mercy. I might do a part two on this. All right, I'm going to read this last little bit. On January 29, 2021, Royce re-signed Braylon Howard's plea, diversion agreement from 
Case 48 2020 CJ 001487, where under number five of the divergent plan, Par M reads, Brandon, Braylon J. Howard agrees to and shall not have no contact with any child, young or small or weak, or anyone who is physically or mentally handicapped unless under the direct supervision, sight and sound of an appropriate adult until it's deemed appropriate that the child does not pose a safety risk as determined by a therapist who is actively treating them. And part O, which reads, Braylon J. Howard agrees to not play to not play with or babysit any children who are two or more years younger than they are. Based upon Russ's own admission on March 3rd, 2022, she knew she violated these two parts of the agreement, which led to blank blank being victimized by her son. Therefore, there, there is probable cause to charge Royce Reed with child neglect. Well, goddamn. Golly. I'm already at 10 minutes. Shit. All right, y'all. This is crazy. And I'll follow up with a part two behind this. So let me know what y'all think.